Oh, good morning fellow woodworkers. Welcome back to another video. Today a different setup. I'm at home in my mathematics videos studio and I've got something in the mail after a very long day at the workshop. Let's unbox it. I don't think you can see from the side what this is, so let's just put it right out of the box and let's see what we got. Ooh, it's bigger than I thought. That's what she said. So we've got a power line here. We've got foils for whatever those are. And here's the main thing. And yes, you are correct. It's a mixer. No, it's not. It's a 3D printer and this 3D printer is working with liquid resin. I have never used a 3D printer like this before and the wonderful people from Elegu were kind enough to sponsor this video and provide me with this machine for completely free. And as always with my reviews here on this channel, I'm going to try out the thing that got sent to me and I'm going to tell you my honest opinion about the product. No one told me what to say, so I'm going to state what I think about those products and if they are worth buying, if they are worth their money, what they can give to the user and what they can't give to the user and how they perform in general. Pretty excited about this 3D printer. Can't wait to set up some stuff and to 3D print it. But at first I need to take a look at some YouTube videos to figure out how a 3D printer of that sort actually works. Man, that thing looks so futuristic. That is unreal. That is so weirdly looking. Like this? Oh yeah, there we go. And we've got a package with toolkits. And the cool thing about this model that we got right here, it's the Mars 3 Pro, the Pro version. It's the newest one, just got recently released in June, July. Um, it actually comes with an air purifier. And I think that's a really cool addition to the whole thing, that it comes in the package, that you don't need to buy an air purifier separately. And that is basically everything that comes with the package and there's not much more to set up. The only thing to less set up is to, I believe, put this one into here, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to read into the manual, I'm going to build everything together and then we are going to try it out in my workshop and we are going to see if it's actually worth getting yourself one of those Mars 3 Pros or the regular Mars 3. I hope you are going to enjoy the video and I'm going to see you tomorrow. The noise you hear is the peak loudness of the printer, so the machine in and of itself is really quiet. To set the machine up for the first time of printing, I first level the overhead printing bed and later install the tank which will be filled with resin. And here's how the printer works. The bed goes down into the tank touching the foil. UV light will then be projected onto the bed layer by layer, curing the resin in the process. And after repeating this procedure hundreds and hundreds of times, you end up with a fully printed model. To demonstrate this, I booted a sample chess piece project, which came with the USB stick. And this print with the preset exposure time took around about 50 minutes, I would say. Now the Mars 3 Pro is a 4K resolution printer, which is already promising for a highly detailed printing experience. And it really doesn't let you down honestly. The text on the pieces is extremely readable and if you look closely you will notice a little staircase printed inside of the chess piece. I didn't notice this detail even the first time around. I was kind of shocked that it worked out that way. It was crazy, it looked really good. Now for some other projects that I designed on my own. We begin with an infinity cube, which was the first time for me to use scaffolding. That task was made easy though using the G2Box software that was provided on the USB stick. And after washing it clean and removing the scaffolding, you will once again be able to witness the great printing quality.
Now, let us go a bit overboard, shall we? Here's the Sierpinski Pyramid of degree 5. And I was outright baffled by the fact that I was able to verify all layers of the pyramid being printed to their full detail without any resin bleeding. The only instance of bleeding was at the base, but if I had used the scaffolding, I would have been able to avoid this particular problem. That was my fault this time around. Also, the tip was a bit weirdly printed, but I didn't mind it too much, since this print was a test of detail, which the Mars 3 Pro passed with full marks. I also felt like printing some miniatures by Lute Studios, but the big boy here failed magnificently after about 6 hours of printing with a lower exposure time. The part that was successfully printed though looked absolutely gorgeous and was rich of details. Now for the famous articulated dragon that I'm pretty sure that you have seen online somewhere before. This piece is a moving dragon figure, which is printed in just one session, which is already feeling like absolute magic that something like this is even possible. And you know that you've got a great quality printer at hand if the dragon manages to articulate each and every of its joints without any problems. And sure enough, Mars 3 didn't let me down. And in comparison to my old filament printers, they had no chance the articulated dragon just didn't work out. But here, just look at that fantastic result. Another test that the printer passes with full marks, no questions asked. And the body is once again detailed to perfection. And last but not least, I reprinted the miniature again. But this time with a solid resin core, and a bit smaller. And sure enough, this fixed all problems and the final model turned out great. So what is my final verdict? What do I think about the Elgu Mars 3 Pro? I was able to try it out for the past weeks and I have to say I'm extremely satisfied with the performance. This 3D printer now actually got me into miniature printing which is really cool and compared to the filament printers that I was uh, using before it's seriously just such a big difference. You can't really put it into words how much more hassle-free this type of 3D printer actually is. The resin part and the upside down printing just overall gives you way better performance, way better speeds and also just overall greater detail. And the failure rate for prints is really low if I may say so myself. Out of all the things that I have printed I only had four failures if I'm not mistaken and this was just due to rotating it not the right way in my 3D program and the like. So those were mostly my fault apart from one like the bigger figurine that I have showed you before which just came out totally messed up. I still don't know what caused it but it was probably also my fault. The machine is most of the time not at fault and it's just doing a really great job overall. If you are wondering how you can use a machine like this in a woodworking environment, I can tell you a bunch of applications actually. For example, one of the cool things is if you are into knife making and the like, you could create little custom pins with little dragons at the top that you can hammer into your knives. They are actually rather durable if you make them out of resin like fully and not with any kind of scaffolding in the middle or the like. They are really heavy and give a good performance. They are water resistant and everything that you would desire for knife making and the inlays you would like to put in there. Other than that, 
you can create just flat inlays that you can put in, into wood. Other applications that I have found for a resin printer or just 3D printer in general is to create spare parts. Um, I was creating spare parts for my keyboard because one of the feet broke that I had at the back. Also I was creating washers because I just didn't have washers lying around for the application I needed it. So I 3D printed a bunch of washers using this machine and it just turned out fabulous and they are very durable and really nice to use in such a woodworking applications. And you could go further, you could create screws or other parts that you could make use of in some kind of project. Most of those parts really are meant for any kind of stability. Like if you were to create a screw, it probably wouldn't hold up a table for very long. But as mentioned before, like the washers, it's, it, it just makes for great application of 3D printers. So overall, my final verdict for this machine is if you want to get into 3D printing, 3D printing, which also gives you very high detailed results. You could see it on the miniature that I have printed. It was a small one, but the detail was pretty high, or the Sapinski pyramid. Then this 3D printer might as well be something for you. The resin is rather inexpensive. Even the water washable one, which I prefer way more at this point, because it doesn't stink that much. You can just wash it off regularly. And just overall, very great to use. And other than that, it's just very user-friendly. If you want to just get into 3D printing, you can find a lot of assets online that you can download. Or if you're into Fusion 360 or the like, you can start creating your self-own 3D models and put it into G2 Box, and then go ahead and get started with printing. Even the scaffolding part is really easy and intuitive to use if you use G2 Box, so you don't really need to worry that you mess something up. So yeah, overall, if you want to get into 3D printing, get yourself this one. High detail, pretty low price for a resin 3D printer, and it just gets the job done really, really well. And also the platform that you have in here is more than sufficient for most um, for most projects that you would like to fulfill in your free time or maybe even professionally. So yeah, definitely make sure to check out the Elgu Mass 3 Pro 3D printer, all the other 3D printer ones that um, you can find over there in the online shop. You can just take a look at the description down below. Maybe you also get a discount using a personalized link. I'm not certain about that right now, but maybe you're going to get one. Just take a look into the description. And other than that, I thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this little review video, then why not make sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, other than that, yeah, I'm doing mostly woodworking on this channel, not, not 3D printing. So definitely also make sure to check out my DIY project playlist. You can see I'm creating a bunch of projects here. That's a huge dining table I'm going to release very soon. It's in its final stretches. And yeah, make sure to subscribe to stay updated for more DIY projects. And up until the next video, I wish you guys a flammable day. See ya.